were worth rescuing when the original owners wanted out. The company owns Super La Spa. What's left of it? We'll have to notify the claims adjuster when we've released the scene. Actually, this is kind of embarrassing, but the policy on this place has lapsed. You let the fire insurance on one of your businesses expire? It's complicated. We sent them a payment, but they said they didn't get it. Then they wanted us to pay a late fee and raise our premium. I mean, we've done business with them for years, and now they decide to penalize us over a little slip-up? You've just received a case file update. You can access the case file, but your objective has changed for the first time. Your objective, located at the top of your case file, will give you an idea of what to do next. I have some things I need to take care of. Here's my card, at least until the next board meeting. You can reach me at my office. Great job! You've found some evidence. Be sure to use your PDA to access the evidence viewer, so you can look at your findings up close. You can rotate around the evidence by selecting any part of it and moving the cursor in the direction you want it to turn. The case file contains a record of all important information discovered during your investigation. It also allows you to play back cinematic sequences and access the hint emails sent to you by your supervisor. The email section contains communication from your supervisor to help you solve the case. When the information in the email no longer applies, the text will become gray. Your thoroughness score has increased. You can get a higher thoroughness score by navigating to viewpoints in a location that you have not visited before. If the cursor becomes a hand, it's a sign that you can interact with the object underneath it. If this thing was on last night, we could have our ignition source. It's... Hard to tell what this was. Not much left of it. Judging from the charring in the inside of the oven, it was in there for long enough to catch fire. It's almost like a timed fuse. That could indicate... Your tool case consists of four main sections, fingerprint tools, fluid detection tools, collection tools, and casting tools for making molds. Move the cursor over the type of... Some tools require you to hold the button down. What makes you think there would be latent fluids there? What makes you think there would be latent fluids there? We should take samples of soot from all around this place to see if we can find traces of an accelerant.
If the cursor changes to a toolbox, there is evidence to find. I think if we can get one more sample of soot after this one, we'll have enough. We can't just pick that up. Look at the crimping along the edges of the split gas line. I'd say it was cut. So far, that's two things that point to arson. We'll need more evidence to be sure. soot from all over this place. Should be enough. Don't think we're going to pull any prints off of that. We can't just pick that up. Look at how it's burned away from its frame. Drywall is usually fire resistant. Those holes could be there to let more air fan the fire and get to that wooden frame underneath. That's the third sign of possible arson we found. I'm almost convinced. At any time, you can ask your CSI partner for his or her opinion about what you should do next. We need to figure out what caused this fire. If it's an accident, we won't have to do much more. Popcorn style ceiling. Hold your breath while you're taking that sample. If it's as old as it looks, it's probably got asbestos in it.
One mud bath contains a lot more mud than the others. It might just be the way they do it. But the one next to it is filled only up to the line on the side of the tub. That mud is baked solid. We're going to need a way to examine it inside and out, without actually breaking it up and compromising potential evidence. You know, the other day, Catherine was telling me that we have access to an industrial ultrasound device. It sounds perfect for this problem. I'll give her a call. Idea, but remind me again how the device works. Just turn it on and point the wand at whatever you want to scan. The sound waves it emits penetrate at different speeds depending on the density of the material. And the onboard computer translates that into a picture, is that right? You got it. I don't think I need to tell you to be careful with it, but be careful with it. Does that look like a human body to you? It looks like we have a victim after all. I'll call Doc Robbins for a pickup. Cleaning her off is just the first step. This is going to take a while. I'll give you a call when I have something for you. The left stick always moves the cursor. The right stick always moves the camera. Use both sticks at once to navigate an environment. Have we looked everywhere, tested everything, asked every question we can think of? We must be missing something. I'm just not sure what it could be. You'll have to forgive me. Baking the victim in mud and then exhuming her aren't exactly the ingredients for the most efficient autopsy. I'll give you a call when I have something for you.